G'day of yours, well, my uh, Maxwell Ultra Capacitors have arrived. Look at that! The original factory packaging. I'm gonna have some fun with these babies. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah. Made in China. <laughs> anyway, they're pretty good damn color. There's a vent hole there. Uh, positive is this end, so I'm gonna make an ESM. So six of those are gonna fit inside that. I think I've got some strapping somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to check in the shed. I'm gonna have to find some lugs to fit those damn things. But there you go. I'm gonna put six of those inside there. Ooh, they're just gonna fit two. One, two, three, four, five, six will fit quite snugly inside there. I'm gonna have to um, cut out the insides so I can get these to fit snugly. Three kilo farads, 2.7 volt DC. 3,000 farads. And six of these, I'm gonna start a tractor. Believe it or not. So I'm gonna get me, um, me uh, I'll look at my shed for some strapping because I don't think I've got lugs that are that big. Or well, I mightn't have enough of them to fit those bolts. So I'm gonna find some nuts to go on them too. I don't think I've got nuts to screw on there. Hmm. I'm gonna find some nuts to screw on there as well. While well, I'm getting this bloody young um, capacitor bank set up, this stupid thing is not working. Now, uh, right, let me download the newest wine. There you bugger. There seems to be a problem with this server. Bugger with it. Anyway, I got the jewel and the aluminium straps set up. I'll first drill the holes and they're going to polish them to get better conductivity. So I'll get my vice all set up and they can start drilling these out so they can fit. And then they're going to find some bolts to fit those capacitors. My capacitor bank done. Positive post, negative post. Now I'm going to find a way to make up some thick straps. Heavy gauge wire to go from one battery terminal post and to the other inside the casing here. I think I better need to use a bigger size battery, I think. I've got one in there. Or, more, or I might have got a big egg side one. I'll get an ultimate of this some quick checks. Then we can start charging it first and start having some fun. I'll make some straps to go on here. We'll see if we can jump start a car. But that's not bad. This will do everything a car battery does. Because of the, uh, they're in par parallel. The micro ferrets doesn't add up, it reduces, but it's still pretty good for um, quick engine starts anyway. Even for um, solar 12 volt solar panel uh, backup UPSs, things like that, this would be perfect on an inverter. Running something like a computer, a load that's not pulling much load on an inverter, this will charge good off a solar panel to run an inverter or a UPS, so perfect for that. They're like a car battery in every way, but they charge quicker and the ESR is the only difference. Ready for a charge. Oh, I've still got to check. Alright, get me the multimeter out and check it. Because there's such big um, capacitors. They behave like a dead short trying to charge. Now I'm gonna, it's kind of like charging the, um, this big bank I got over here. I have to use a ballast to charge that. Well, same principle here. It's a short to charge you after the point of trip. So I've got to ballast it down. It will take a while. It's 1.6 volts. It's going to take a while. The charger just struggles to charge it without the bloody ballast. That's the only difference, so make sure there's a little bit of residual voltage in this thing. The Lord ought to be easy on you out and that. Because if this thing runs completely flat and someone tries to jump start you, it's going to be a bit of a hard, uh, dead short at first. Capacitors do behave that way. I'm not getting hot, so. Yeah, that's alright, I'll keep monitoring anyway. Now, I can't put my um, Atlas ESR meter on these because it does not go all the way up to 3,000 farads. It's way out of its range. Get in there, two volts. Still got a ballast, it's too hard in the charger without it. 
that's a 100 watt bulb, that's about a 5 amp load I think, so that will take a while. I could use my UPS transformer but that might be a bit too, um, it will charge it but it will trip the breaker because it's at, at first got to get, got to get these up to voltage otherwise it will just be a short. Slowly, slowly. Beautiful. Alright, they're going to make an enclosure for this. The fun part is cutting out these um, partitions to sit those capacitors inside. I'm going to cut them out virtually all the way flush, all the way around. That's going to be a challenge. Then, I'm going to have to make some lugs that go on their terminal posts. So it's going to be like that. I'm going to have them sit like that. It's going to have one wire on a positive. That's the easy part. A short, thick, heavy gauge wire to go from there to there and from there to here to connect to that post. I need some good lugs, which I don't have unfortunately. T plus six volts. T plus seven volts holding there. Slowly, slowly. Anyway, this will take probably at least 10 to 15 minutes of charge using this method. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching. Next part we'll be having some um having some fun with it.